Ryan, we will get to a pretty special moment in just a second, but that was a big result for the team, wasn't it? Yeah, massive result. We knew sort of before the game, <clears throat> and we spoke about it um, before the game, obviously, when we're going through how we wanted to go go about things. And it's not easy when things don't go to plan. And you're obviously, you're playing with 10 men, and I think a lot of credit's got to go to the lads. We dug in, especially the forward players, done a lot of work out there. And we dug in and we kept it sort of nil-nil as long as we could. Disappointed conceding the goal, especially the way we conceded it as well. But um, like I say, lads kept going. And when it went to 10-10, I thought there was only one team sort of going to go on and win it. And uh, fortunately, we did that. It seemed to be a, a real growth in belief when it went to 10-10. And you dominated for a long period of it. Yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, if it's 11 v 11, we'll give anyone a game. And it's the same sort of 10 v 10. And we do a lot of work on sort of on the training ground. in situations where it's overloaded as well. So it's not sort of a shock to us when it happens. But it obviously makes it a lot tougher when they've sort of got an extra man. And I mean, they bring the big lad on um, playing centre forward in the sort of second half just to hit some long balls. They're getting a lot of crosses in, which does make it a bit difficult. But as I said, we ground, we ground in and we got the result we needed and wanted in the end. Funny night for you, in a way, having come out of the team from the start to suddenly be introduced after quarter an hour, and then to have that moment at the end. Yeah, that's. I mean, but that's football. That's what it's like. I mean, say no one really wants to come out of the team, but I said we've got the squad we've got. It's, it's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it's, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than it's bigger than just just any individual player. And whoever's playing out there, I don't. As long as they're winning, now, obviously I want to play. But at the same time, so I want to see the team winning because it's part of a team. Do you know what I mean? So, but obviously to come on after 15 minutes, obviously it's not the easiest thing to do sometimes. Um, it takes you a bit of a while to get going a little bit, but as I said, with the staff we've got as well, I mean, you have conversations with sort of Julio before the game, and you're keeping your mind on track and, and telling you things that sometimes you need to hear. And I said, and he said things to me before the game that sort of reap rewards in the, in the game as well. So, talk me through that key moment because when we watch it back on the replay, you've made that run. You, you had to wait for the ball to arrive to you. Yeah, I got very nervous as well. Um, I sort of I heard I heard I heard the defenders say he's going to stay in the middle of the goal with, with two others. So, so I said to Willie before, you go across the front because if it's short, it's, you knew Baz was going to shoot from there. So if you go across the front. If it's short, you get a nick on it, and it, obviously I'll go around the back. If he's going to have a shot, if it goes a bit sort of longer, a bit wide, then hopefully he'll be there to sort of put it in. And fortunately, I was there. Do you know what I mean? It felt a long time coming. The ball seemed to be floating for a long time. It was probably a second or so. But as I said, when you see it going the back of the net, it's no better feeling. And sort of a lot of fans here tonight as well. We were brilliant all night, even when we're down at ten, sort of losing one nil. So it's, just, it's a good, it's a good way for them to go on. It felt like a special moment running back, the way everyone was celebrating. How big a statement do you think this victory is? It is a big statement. I mean, sort of everyone everyone knows that. You don't, don't need to sort of say that. But I think it shows the sort of togetherness we've got as well. I mean, sort of day in, day out, people don't really see, um, but see around the training ground, the sort of respect for everyone has for everyone. That's, that's, that's lads who are not playing, lads who are playing, lads who are not in the squad, and the younger lads as well, and all the staff. So I think there's a massive togetherness, and I think it sort of shows that there in situations when you, when you are down and you've got 10 men and I say everyone pulls together, do you know what I mean? You come in the change room at the end, it's, it's, it's a nice atmosphere, do you know what I mean? And it continues to be that throughout the season. And the sort of, as I say, I keep referring to the coaches we've got, but there's no way they're going to let us rest, do you know what I mean? From now until the end of the season. So may, may it continue and hopefully we can just press on and, and get as many points as we can.